This week's Ion MPI is Tail Gloss. Tail Gloss, yes. Um, this is a really cool Irish company that makes a lot of antennas. In fact, you've probably used their antennas. Um, I have before. They make ones for GPS and Wi-Fi and cellular and all sorts of stuff. But this week in particular, we are highlighting um, their multi-band SMT antennas. These are um, ceramic antennas that you can pick in place. They come on a tape and reel. And they have a massive wide band. Um, uh, this one in particular, the PA760 um, wideband is 600 to 6,000 megahertz, um, which covers a wide number of bands as shown here, basically 4G, 5G, uh, 3G, and 2G, uh, including uh, Wi-Fi as well. I mean, basically kind of anything really between 600 and 6,000. Um, and you need this because, and I was wondering, like, why do you need so many bands? Well, um, I'm used to cellular stuff, you know, when I was first designing cellular stuff with the SIM 800, um, this is a, a GSM GPRS module. Um, so GSM, otherwise known as 2G, uh, covered the whole world with basically quad band. Although, honestly, it's really dual band because, you know, 850 and 900 megahertz and 1800 and 1900 megahertz are pretty much the same frequencies and they're also multiples of two. So, you know, getting an antenna that could cover those two bands, basically 900 and, and 1900 megahertz, was not too bad. Um, you know, we have one in the store that's, that's very inexpensive uh, that covers both and has, I think, uh, two dBi gain. Um, and that was wonderful and great, except that 2G is no longer used in uh, North America and a lot of parts of Europe. Uh, instead, we have, you know, I'm skipping ahead to LTE, uh, which, you, you know, you're probably familiar with because your phone is an LTE phone. Well, guess what? There is like, you know, basically 100 bands available uh, for all of the different um, speeds and bandwidths and ranges that people are expected to use with LTE. bands it's wireless palooza i know so you know a lot of this is you know i don't go through all of these some of these of course more popular than others but countries have different bands available and also um depending on a category of lte you know there's there's categories zero category 1m up to category i think four or five the higher the category number, the usually the higher the frequency and the higher the bandwidth is for you know transmitting video, audio, um, you know uh, high speed internet. Whereas the lower categories, category zero, category one, um, those are used for machine to machine stuff. You know what the low cost two G network used to do um, when you just wanted to send temperature data over cellular, or you wanted to you know have a credit card processing machine that just uh, sent authorizations over cellular. You don't have to have a very good quality high speed connection because it's only connecting very rarely. It connects to the cell, you know, the cell network, um, verifies the credit card, and then disconnects. So for that, you might want a less expensive, lower power um, cellular module that uses the LT network. And you might want something that has better range because, you know, it's it's okay if your um, fancy cell phone maybe doesn't work in uh, you know a basement eatery. Um, but we've been to restaurants where um, when you go downstairs, there's no cell phone service. But, you know, if you if you have a alarm system or a fire you know, detection system or a um, credit card processing system that uses cellular, well, it needs to work everywhere. And so those category zero and category one bands might use something as low as 900 megahertz, 600 megahertz uh, to get really good penetration through. Um, walls and through wood and through, you know, even some thin concrete. Um, but again, you know, it's lower frequency. You're not going to be able to carry as much data, but you will be able to carry it a lot farther. Also good for uh, rural areas. Um, so this is an example also of, uh, you know, I looked at another SimCom module. Uh, it's an LTE module that, um, that I've, you know, I've used before. And it's um, LTE, but it also has... Uh, GSM fallback, and that's pretty common too. So even if you're not necessarily, if you're expecting to use LTE, you know, in some countries there might be GSM as a fallback capability, especially in, in some rural areas that still have GSM or 2G. Um, that's another reason why you might want to have multiple bands. Um, so this is the antenna, or a very similar version of this antenna, uh, as an example on a dev board um, by Tau Glass. And so this is actually kind of like an IoT all-in-one edge sensor platform thingy. Um, and you can see that, you know, having an SMT antenna is quite nice because first off, it's not that large uh, compared to, I mean, it's big, but it's not that large compared to the cellular module. 
Um, and it allows you to have like a weatherproof design or an enclosed design without like this like jangly uh, antenna sticking off of it. Um, this could be, you know, so what I thought was interesting is, you know, if you have an, uh, a cellular module that can do CAT 0, CAT 1M up to, you know, and as well as looks like maybe they have Wi-Fi or Bluetooth as well, um, this could be handy for um, some projects. Some of the projects that they had as an example was uh, if you have a, a horse farm. So let's say you have a horse farm and uh, you're in um, you know, the Irish countryside and you want to track the location of your horses because they're horses, they, they run. They run very fast, they run very far. But maybe you want to kind of know where they are sort of on your property. So you have a GPS module. You need to get that GPS tracking data back to you. Um, but again, you're in a rural area, so you might want to use a Cat 1M or you might want to use GSM to get the best range. Um, but then also when they're closer to uh, the farmhouse, you might switch over to Wi-Fi where you don't have to pay uh, for roaming charges. And so that's where uh, you know, a multi-band antenna could also come in handy if you could switch. You have an antenna switch and you switch between cellular and Wi-Fi. Or maybe you also have LoRaWAN um, and you have like a horse mesh network. Uh, all sorts of ideas. Yeah. And sometimes um, you have to keep track of the temperature of the horses, their, their heart rate. There's a lot of things you have to activity. keep track of. Yes, yeah. so they, they do have, they actually did a horse monitor project, yeah. uh, which I think is a, a great example of um, Who's going to IOT your horse wild horses? Sense. Yeah, yeah. So, so that edge board, I think this is the same board as we showed before, and this was used uh, for a project called HorsePal um, with, with a company that I think makes horse blankets. Um, I mean, there's nothing, there's really nothing quite more romantic than than having horses in the Irish countryside and you're you're riding them and caring for them and then monitoring them with um, LTE Cat 1M modules. So uh, yeah, these modules, um, you know, they would slip into the horse blanket and you could use them to uh, locate your horses and also just make sure that they're all doing okay and they're moving fine. And here that, is- That's right, sir. I love my horse and I keep track of my horse. This is the co-CEO of Town Glass. Uh, and I think the blue thing he's holding is, is the module, I think, you know, one has the battery on one side and the other side is the edge module. And you see it's in, encased in silicone um, to keep it waterproof because horses, you know, they are, they can roll around in the mud. Uh, so you have to make something that is not going to um, get dirty or, you know, you can't have like an SMA connector word, which could come loose, uh, which is why it's handy to have your antenna embedded inside. Uh, so if you are excited for an SMT mount antenna, well, you're in luck because there's quite a few uh, models. Um, about half of them are currently in stock at DigiKey. Bell Belt DigiKey. Including the PA7760. That's right. Which is also called the Warrior at, X Wideband. At the time of this screenshotting, 2,576. The band of, of frequencies is as wide as a horse's butt. Yeah. And uh, there's a little horse video. But, um, you know, I have to be careful with some of these sales videos because they use um, music. Yeah. So we're just going to we're just going to show you the video. So this is the, you know, do, do, do. This is the music. Uh, this, this, this is the logo. logo. OK. And, and this then, is the horse. And then there was just like drum horse beats. Horse That's the name of it. Yeah. And it was it. There, there, there was no horse sounds. It was just music. So I decided. Yeah. To turn you're not losing off. out on anything with um, with horses. OK. Well, there you go. So Taglass, thank you so much for. Um, Inspire, and, uh, you know, I always go to the videos of the uh, company and um, sometimes I just like to pick the coolest one. Not necessarily like exactly the video about the antenna, but it, there was an antenna in that horse blanket. So it's, it counts. Okay. And that's Ion MPI. Hi, on MPI.